Hello, I'm Jack Chichen, owner of Beverly Hills Bookbinding Service. And what we do here is custom handmade bookbinding. Everything is done by hand and uh, all with different materials from all over the world. My grandfather was a bookbinder and my father learned from him and he became a bookbinder. And I learned from my father. And when I was a kid, I used to come here at the shop and hang out and help my dad work. And the next thing you know, I fell in love with bookbinding and I became a bookbinder. <laughs> well, I've been going up and down those stairs for 47 years, several times a day. Let me show you the kind of stuff that I've done. This is a Bible that I restored. This was completely an old bunch of pieces and I restored entire binding, refurbished the leather, rebacked it. I put new marble uh, moray paper in here, which is very rare. You can't even find it anymore strengthened and bound and repaired the entire thing quite a big job another thing that we do is we make a clamshell box See, the, it looks like a book from outside but it's really a box for a collectible book this is a, a mark twain book signed 1922 there's a signature and this is a really good way to keep these collectible books so they don't uh, disintegrate within time and it keeps nice and it looks beautiful in your library you know and uh, and this is a book that I restored the spine was the hinges were broken the spine was completely destroyed so I restored it this is the old these are the old covers and this is brand new this is a show movie television show that we re we bound you know, it's basically it's a, a brand new binding because there's a lot of entertainment business here in Beverly Hills and people like to have their movie scripts bound and kept, give as presents. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to give to somebody who's in the entertainment business. I've done a book that ended up costing $5,500. You know, there was incredible stuff in there. I mean, just the pages were all handmade and and uh, engravings and etchings and uh, you know die cuttings and the leather was incredible leather with big foil stamping on the cover so it, uh, it was a huge huge project well this is our shop this is where we do all the stuff it's small for book binding this is a script that i'm going to bind and it just comes in like this like this just pages and we take it out we glue it, we get the pages, we sew it, and make the actual book block. This was a Saturday night like Saturday night special. And the book fits in there. Do you print the covers too? Do you that the yes, covers? we do all the tooling and all the stamping on the cover, describing what the book is. It's a and th that part of it is the art of bookbinding, is the expression of the book. It's very precision and precise work. The better the quality is, the more valuable the, the, the book is. Pa uh, and then we case it in, we glue it together, and put it in this it's an old 200-year-old press. Leave it overnight. See, it's, and these press boards are built specially with the wire edge. So it goes into that hinge area and, and let it lets it dry. And this is how the leather comes. You see? This is a cowhide leather. This is made in the United States. There's one company left in the United States that makes this leather. This is a gold stamping machine. This is where we do all the stamping of the letters. See? We get all the letters set. And these are brass type that we had to order from England it cost a fortune to get these things fortune again there's two company two or three companies left in the world that makes these makes these uh, types brass types all these all these things are dying out one by one there was a marble paper we used to get from from England and I thought it was a big company turns out the guy was a one-man operation and he turned blind and the whole the whole line of that marble paper discontinued. You know, all of a sudden something just dies down because it's not it's not a big demand, so nobody really cares about it. 
You know, so when, it, when they go, they go, that's it. So you have to search all over the world and find a, another source. Uh, it's a, the book binding business is a dying art, but people like me that are still doing it, we're trying to keep it alive and beautiful and, and, uh, and keep, keep it going, you know. Finding the right glue is the, one of the most important things in bookbinding. Uh, this melts, it has to melt down before you can use it. But this is great for applying paper to paper, cloth to board, leather to board. And it's very, it, it works very well for that purpose. Now, there's a hundred different kinds of animal glue, hundreds of different kinds. You gotta find the one that works best for you. This, this is a gluing machine. When the glue gets hot, you turn it on, it turns. You slide your material through here and it comes out the other side glued. The glue is on the material, so it's a lot better than gluing it on my brush the whole thing is custom hand work people that's the one thing people don't understand how much work is involved how labor intensive this work is I think everything especially in this age every, everybody thinks oh it's a computer you put it in it comes out no it's all hand done the old-fashioned way we cut the boards we round the edges we everything is hand your hand craftsmanship is what makes a beautiful book it's what you know in your head and your hand craftsmanship. That's what makes a beautiful book. And it takes time. It time and but I end up putting a lot more time than the money that I charge. Because you, you just have to put the time in to make it come out the way you want it. If my books are not the way I want it, I'm not happy. This is a big press that we put when we finish the cover, we put it in here and press it. So everything dries smoothly and finish smoothly. And this is the uh, shear for cutting the boards. This is what we use to trim the pages of the books. We it's a guillotine. This is what we use to trim the pages of the books. We clamp it in and slice off the pages and it comes out nice and clean. This is, I think, over 100 years old. It's not electric. And I don't like the electric ones because a lot of times People that have the electric uh, guillotines, they have fingers missing. And these are a lot of the materials that I have. Leather and book cloth. Nothing from LA. Everything is either East Coast or Europe. It cost me a fortune for shipping here. You put it in like that, you tighten it. And with a hammer, you form the, this, the, the, the backing. It's called the backing process of, of the book, like that. You form it like that, you know, and then that comes out. And that makes a place for the board to sit on the book. And this is a, this machine is a rounder. Yeah, you put it in here and it pounds the, the spine of the book and then you turn it around, it pounds it again. And it rounds, gives that round look. It rounds the book. And then you put it in the in that job ba job backer, and with that you form the the backing. It's all handmade. This is just a regular old uh, hole punch machine. This is a miter. What what this does is um, Cuts, miters the metal. This is lead. Okay, and you can make a box like that to stamp on the spine or on the cover of the book. You can make you make a square box the size that you want. This is one I'm going to restore. Okay, this is how it comes broken like this. This is restored. All these are restored. This guy wanted to self-publish. Okay, well, we did a lot of cloth binding, regular bindings for him. Okay, then he wanted some that were leather bound, best quality leather, with bit tooling on the spine. Put beautiful handmade marble papers. 
gilded edges. And this is the sewing method that I was telling, telling you, that I invented the sewing method. The way I sew the pages is, is my method. It's, this is my technique that I've invented myself. It's kind of complicated to explain, but uh, basically that's what it is. Otherwise, if, the, if you stab sew it, it opens like this, tighter. But the way I sew it, it opens full, uh, more easy. The book would run about $600 to do with the gilded edges. But people that, that are affluent and they have all the money in the world and they like to have a beautiful library in their house and bind their books beautifully and, you know, it's, it's a pleasure for them and it's an art, art form in their house to see their, the books that they love beautifully bound. The reason why I, exi I exist here is because I am very diversified. I do a lot of different kinds of things, you know? People want to make a, a movie, uh, a script holder for a movie, like this, and it's a spring back. You put your script in there, it's a portfolio, I make it. You want it bound? I'll bind it. You want to restore a Bible? I'll restore it. You want to, buy, you want to bind a, a, a small hand Bible? I, fix, I bind it. You want to fix a Torah? I, I you want to fix a prayer book? Torah. Yeah. I do all, anything that people want in custom handbook binding, you know? That's the only reason why I survive here. To get it really beautifully done, to make a beautiful book, is such a great accomplishment. People look at a book and they oh, it's just a book. But there's art in that book, and there's art in the creation of that book, in the binding of that book, in the stamping of that book. There's a lot of art, and to see it finish beautifully, it's like you spend the rest of your life trying to get it one inch better, one millimeter better than you did last time. And that's what keeps you excited throughout your whole life, in uh, trying to create more beautiful and more beautiful books. I'm going to keep it going until the, the last, my last breath.